There's this guy that I met for the first time in person last year at vMix. Um, unassuming, very modest. Um, it's the old one of those sayings that still waters run deep. Well, this guy is, is deep. This guy is deep. He's brilliant, very talented, very personable. It's the creator of vMix. Martin Sinclair, would you join us on the stage, please? Big hand for Martin Sinclair. <sighs> the crowd goes wild. There we go. I don't think I've got you on. All right. Uh, so welcome. Uh, <laughs> and thank you for inviting me to come do my show here for a second year. Yeah, it's uh, it's <laughs> it's we've, we've finally done it. We've uh, it, it's been a busy couple of days to say the very least. Uh, I've been running around all over the place, and we have so many live shows going on in this venue yes. that are powered by vMix. So we have the Teradeg live show, of course, Yes. and we're running an NDI link this year from here to there. They're in the, a completely different hall. They're in Central Hall. We're in the South Lower Hall, and we ha so we've set that up, and that, that seems to be going great. And then, of course, PTZ Optics are, are, are running uh, their own show on, on the booth down here in the South Lower Hall, and we'll have them on show in a couple of minutes I yep, assume yep um, so yeah I've just been uh, running around well, seeing I, all these I talked to the guys at PI engineering you know the folks that make the X keys and they've got a little teeny set have you seen this yeah yeah a little Lego set that's yeah and, and and they are doing a live stream on that set this afternoon at 1 o'clock Pacific at the Facebook page for PI engineering and Maggie and Melinda are going to be doing the show. Did I wow, get that okay. right? Is Maggie, Maggie and Melinda are going to be doing that show? Tim says that's right, so okay. So <laughs> after this show at 1 o'clock Pacific, you want to tune your Facebook page to PI Engineering and go ahead and like them while you're there because Maggie... Now, we need to get more women in live streaming. And so I think after you see Maggie and Melinda, you're going to know why you want to get more women in live streaming. So, Martin, tell us a little bit about the setup we've got today. How so, in yeah. the world did we configure all this stuff? Last like year, last year, many people will know we had a whole whole live stage stage set up. This year, we went a bit different. We wanted to provide as many systems as possible uh, for people to try out vMix. We have six demo systems happening. We've got ones for instant replay, ones for NDI, ones for vMix call, for laptop productions, 4K. We've just got everything. And uh, what's happened is uh, we've allocated the IP production system. It's right in front of us here. So Tim is at the controls there and uh, he's showing an NDI feed now that we're bringing in over NDI. We can just see around the booth. We can see all these people watching in in our live show. You can see Tim there in the bottom left hand corner. You can wave, wave to the camera. <laughs> Tom's going out and wave to that. So they're all connected together via NDI. We only have two capture cards in use in this booth this year. Everything else is being shared via NDI. Um, so it's pretty amazing. And uh, so the show today has just been running on the IP production uh, booth. We have two cameras plugged into it. Uh, we're on this camera up here. So this is the Blackmagic camera. Uh, this down here is a RovoCam that HAA uh, has uh, loaned us for the week. Uh, so we just have them both. One of them is coming in via NDI, in fact. So this camera up here is connected via NDI. This one here is connected via the HAA UTAP via USB. So you can see we're using, we're a zero capture card production today. One's coming via NDI, one's coming via USB into this IP production system that, that Tim's running the controls from. We're using the same sort of setup we have back in our uh, Funtime Live show. We've got the Behringer UMC 404 audio interface. Uh, we have that these two mics plugged in. We just bought these wireless mics from um, Sennheiser and uh, we, oh, Sony actually. These are Sony wireless mics. Uh, and they seem to be working all right. I hope everybody can actually hear us today on the live show. They uh, do work great. I was just teasing. So we just at the last minute got a flash drive from Tom with all of his materials. So, you know, we have the, the graphics, the intro video, and all of that running into the production. And I think that's pretty much it. Of course, we're using vMix Call today. So you should run right into who your next guest is, well, I guess, if and, you've got any more questions. And Martin has set up a confidence monitor here for us on Tim's laptop. 
that is doing what? This is a vMix call or this is an NDI? So or? this is an NDI link here. We've just connected this via Wi-Fi and we're just running vMix and we're running the output of the production in vMix and we're also running in a couple of audio mixes. Uh, so with NDI and vMix you can share different audio mixes. We're using the A bus in here so that Tim can control exactly what you're hearing in your earphone. So I have no idea what's going on. So I'll, I'll run away when you, you, you talk to your next guest because I won't be able to hear a, a thing they're saying. Um, but yeah, that's our setup. You know, if anybody has any questions, they can talk about in the chat room and I'll do my best to, to answer that post show. But I think you've got a lot of content to All get right. to. Jan is saying in the chat room, that he bought his first vMix license about a year ago when it was vMix 16. We're at vMix 19 now, which is just after a year, that's just light years from where we were back at vMix 16. And I think I got on the vMix train about vMix 12. Um, yeah, it started with vMix version 6, funnily enough, because I built it for my church and I was just building all these different versions. And it was only up to version 6 I was confident enough to unleash it to, to the masses. So that was in 2009, and so from 6 Did to 19... Did you have any and, clue what was going to happen? No, I just, you know, is, <laughs> I was only running for my church. I was perfectly content with running VMIX just in my church, but everybody kept saying, hey, we, we'd really like to try this software out, and that's, you know, how it happened. And so Martin took this little pebble called VMIX, and he dropped it into the pond, and it created this tidal wave effect that is sweeping the broadcast industry. You wouldn't believe the people that we're talking to in the vMix booth this year about vMix. Folks that are doing production, people that are, they want to steal all Martin's ideas. I mean, people, <laughs> people come around and take, people come around and take pictures of the screen so they can go back and mimic vMix. Tim's just put up a picture in picture of the booth so we can see down the oh, hall yeah, there. Yeah, 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 uh, right over there, right. So looking down that way, I believe. Yeah. And you can tell this is live because people walk right through the middle of the set. And there's the booth there, a team in the corner. So we've got a bird's eye view of, of what's happening. Uh, yeah. All right, so Martin, vMix 19, vMix call was the big thing. And then you had some tweaks. I think you fixed, well, Twitter and uh, Periscope opened yeah. up their API. Just in the last couple of weeks, we've added Periscope Twitter support and also support for YouTube Stream Now. So you can just log in directly into your YouTube channel, which is what you're using today for the show. We made it First easy to, to stream to YouTube. First time. And Tim did it all. I got to keep Tim. Do you mind if I keep Tim? <laughs> Yeah, you can, we can have a day. Uh, Actually, Tim's kind of ticked off at me right now, so maybe he'll forgive me by the end of the day. Who are you going to send us in return? Um, Rooney? Can we have Rooney? Yeah, in? I'll send Rooney. <laughs> yeah, I'll send Rooney. Rooney's a wild man. We'll send him with, with NDI Leash with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you give us a hint at vMix 20? This is the NAB show where we just you know, showcase vMix 19 and absorb what people are saying, what they want in the future. Ah, so okay. we, we listen and of course what we do first is we look at the feature requests in our forums. Yes. You know, Tim's got this whiteboard in the office where he's, he's you know, tallying all the feature requests, right, which how, are the popular whoa, 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 ones. You, you slip my bed. Let me interrupt you. So if somebody has a great idea for a feature, they should call you up. No, they should go to our forums at forums.vmix.com. They should sign up go to feature requests, and the first thing to do is search, because somebody has probably thought of it before. Uh, and when you find that thread, you just reply um, with a plus one or a yes, this would be great, but wouldn't it be great if this feature also did X, Y, or Z? Now, if the feature you haven't, you can't find it, can't search for it, submit a new post. And uh, we all are about how many customers are all about vMix. So, uh, that feature, how popular they think that feature is. Um, and how is popularity measured? Uh, it's measured in a couple of factors, how hard it is to build. Ah, okay. So if it's a really, really, really popular feature and it's also hard to implement, that's probably going to be a feature that's going to be in their next release. Okay. Uh, but if it's really hard and only two or three people uh, currently want it, well then they need to start getting the word out about that feature. Uh, so other people can say, yes, we want this feature. So if, if, if you've got a feature that you like, and you put it into the forum, and I like it too, I should go into the forum and make a post there with a plus one, yeah. and that tells you, the developer, that somebody else likes that too. That's right. So if 50 people go in and do a plus one. Now, the vMix, vMix call is a good example of a feature that people requested quite a while back, and you said, 
the technology's not ready. I like I like the idea, but we're not quite ready for that. Isn't that, isn't that the And story? that's right. Yeah, we had a lot of feature requests that are still there in the forums that are very popular, but we're waiting for technology. We're waiting for certain things to fall into place. Uh -huh. And you know, VB School is a great example of that. It took probably two years before the technology was mature enough uh, for it to work with everybody's browsers. Um, but yeah. Uh, as I said, Tim's got a whiteboard of features we're currently investigating based on the feature requests. We can't say what they are because we don't know whether we can actually implement them. But he has a list. He has my marching orders when I get back to Australia after this. I'll tell you how to get your feature implemented. This is the secret. <laughs> Martin, Martin will have to, uh, he doesn't want to know the secret. What I did was I really wanted vMix Call to be a feature. So I went out and I did four videos on my show on how to do a workaround so that you could get a video call into vMix. How to do it with Skype, how to do it with Zoom, how to do it from a second PC, how to do it on a primary PC. And the week after I did my last video, Martin put out the beta on vMix call. And yes, undid uh, everything that I had done for four weeks. That was a funny coincidence, wasn't it? Because we've been working on it for a long time, and uh, you were testing it with us in a secret beta, super secret beta, um, and and yeah, it. I guess we both, you know, great minds think alike. You were realizing that people needed help with Skype and Zoom in vMix because around was, the same time it was, as we realized it was complicated to take Skype and yeah. Zoom and get them in. And so we realized at the same time, I think, and it, that's when the beta came out, so yeah. And vMix Call, I will tell you, vMix Call is very much the talk of this convention. People come here, I, I was talking to somebody this morning, he's a vMix user, and I said, you know about vMix Call? And he said, yes! He said, that is the best feature. He said, I've got to upgrade just for that. I said, you haven't upgraded already? He said, no, I haven't. I said, go home, upgrade first thing. Don't even unpack, upgrade first thing because you've got to see it in real life. Okay. Now They're you... talking about the audio in the chat room. <laughs> We're like, yeah, this is, um, uh, my mic was too loud before, so that's why I moved it back. So uh, tell us who else is on the team here at, at the vMix booth. This so year. what we have running the booth this year is uh, you, of course, uh, helping us out for the first time this year, which is really great. We have Seth from the Cloud Media Group. He's over there talking to a customer right now. And then from our vMix Australia team, we have myself, Tim, and uh, Kimberly. Uh, so she's over there just uh, talking to customers as well. So she doesn't want to come on the live show, so that's all right. I've been after her for two days to get her <laughs> onto the live show. But uh, what we didn't tell her is that there's a camera pointed right there, right now. No, just... <laughs> oh, and we've got, this is a vMix call shot that RJ, RJ is uh, <laughs> recording RJ in. RJ Murdoch is responsible for this shot right here. Thank you, RJ. That's excellent. We tried to get RJ to be able to communicate with us, but, but uh, we just couldn't hear him. It was, probably, it was probably something I did, no doubt. No doubt. Well, Martin, that's super. What else? What else can you share? You got some, I, that's it from me, but you've got some important guests that have been waiting in the green room. You want to bring right. them in? Well, one more thing. Today, you can go to vmix.com and get a free 60-day trial of vmix19, the pro $1,200 version. You can use it free for two months. It's not watermarked, but it is crippled, right? <laughs> it's fully can't functional. Can't you it's disable VMix, some of the features? Vmix Pro for 60 days. So I could go free. use that for two months for free, the full version. And I could go out and sell uh, people to come on my video show and things like that for free. For free, for, for 60 days, months. yeah. For 60. What happens at the end of 60 days? Then you have to buy it. Ah. So it just... But it does revert. Well, you can change it to the free version. To a free version. Which is SD for a couple of cameras, but right. no vMix call in that. So if you really but want the vMix call... by that time, you're spoiled. Yeah, you've got... You, you know what... It, if, it need, if it does what you That's need it to really do after sneaky, two months. Mark. That's really <laughs> sneaky. Well, thanks for, thanks for the plug. You know, I'll write the check after the show. Right. Martin's already written the check. He brought me here. Thank you. I, I really do thank you a lot. And thanks for taking a second to pop in. Yeah? Good. Good. You want to hang out here? I'll... I'll I'll jump to the side and you can run to the next thing. So. All right, all right, very good, very good, very good.